Give me justice, O God, and plead my cause against the nation that is faithless. From the deceitful and cunning rescue me, for you, O God, are my strength. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with with your your spirit. spirit. Welcome to the celebration of the Holy Mass for the fifth Sunday in Lent. My name is Father Robert Blood, and it's a joy to be with you today. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty Almighty God, God, and to to you, you, my my brothers and sisters, sisters, that that I have have greatly greatly sinned in my my thoughts and in my words, in in what I have have done and in what I have have failed to do, through my fault, through my my fault, through my my most most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Blessed Mary, Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels angels and saints, and and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ, have have mercy. mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have have mercy. mercy. Let us pray. By your help we beseech you, Lord our God, may we walk eagerly in that same charity with which out of love for the world your Son handed himself over to death. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. The days are coming, says the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and the house of Judah. It will not be like the covenant I made with their fathers the day I took them by the hand to lead them forth from the land of Egypt. For they broke my covenant, and I had to show myself their master, says the Lord. But this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, says the Lord. I will place my law within them and write it upon their hearts. I will be their God, and they shall be my people. No longer will they have need to teach their friends and relatives how to know the Lord. All, from least to greatest, shall know me, says the Lord, for I will forgive their evil doing and remember their sin no more. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Compassion, wipe out my offense. Thoroughly wash me from my guilt and of my sin, cleanse me. Create a clean heart, a clean heart in me, O God. A clean heart, create for me. Spirit renew within me. Cast me not out from your presence, and your Holy Spirit take not from me. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. In the days when Christ Jesus was in the flesh, he offered prayers and supplications with loud cries and tears to the one who was able to save him from death. And he was heard because of his reverence. Son though he was, he learned obedience from what he suffered. And when he was made perfect, He became the source of eternal salvation for all those who obey him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Whoever serves me must follow me. Pray. 
The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory to, to you, o Lord. Lord. Some Greeks who had come to worship at the Passover feast came to Philip, who was from Bethsaida in Galilee, and asked him, Sir, we would like to see Jesus. Philip went and told Andrew. Then Andrew and Philip went and told Jesus. Jesus answered them, The hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. Amen, amen, I say to you, unless a grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains just a grain of wheat. But if it dies, it produces much fruit. Whoever loves his life will lose it, and whoever hates his life in this world will preserve it for eternal life. Whoever serves me must follow me, and where I am, there also will my servant be. The Father will honor whoever serves me. I am troubled now, yet what would I say? What should I say? Father, save me from this hour. But it was for this purpose that I came to this hour. Father, glorify your name. Then a voice came from heaven. I have glorified it, and I will glorify it again. The crowd there heard it and said it was thunder. But others said an angel has spoken to him. Jesus answered and said, The voice did not come for my sake, but for yours. Now is the time of judgment on this world. Now the ruler of this world will be driven out, and when I am lifted up from the earth, I will draw everyone to myself. He said this, indicating the kind of death he would die. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Thank to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. There's nothing more that I want as a Christian than for someone to see Jesus in me. That's a deep desire I have for our parishes, too, that when people come into the Catholic community, their heart will know that the Christ is here. Now, the world's image of Jesus can be on the fluffy side, oversimplifying who he was to nothing more than a kind poet and teacher. Jesus is the God-man, the God-man who freely accepted a brutal death on a cross out of a love for me and for you. So to become little Christ, as Paul would say, doesn't mean emphasizing a pretentious gentleness day in and day out. It means choosing the good of the other even if it stings. Sometimes that does look like gentleness, and sometimes it looks like digging our feet in and doing hard work despite our wants. I think if we allow him to speak to us in a daily way, and we desire to do his will, we will quickly feel a deep sense of purpose that our hearts long for. We want to be heroes. We want to make a difference. Christ crucified is the perfect model for us. He looked helpless, truly giving his life up, and then that offered us a shot at eternal life. He didn't boast in himself, but instead, with eyes fixed on the Father, chose to love us. This is our call as we approach the impending Holy Week. May our eyes stay fixed on the Father, and may we see the souls right in front of us who could use a little extra love. I believe in one God, God the Father God Almighty, Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came, he came down, down from heaven, and, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. 
We now offer our prayers and petitions to our Heavenly Father. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, our Bishop David Malloy, and all church leaders, that they would be renewed in hope amidst the many crosses of the world, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our president and all civil le leaders, that they would recognize the dignity of all human life in their words and actions, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick, sorrowful, lonely and the oppressed, that they would know their home in the heart of Jesus, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an increase of vocations to the priesthood, religious life, and sacramental marriages, especially here in the Diocese of Rockford, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died. And we pray for Jacqueline and Harry Lithgow, for whom this holy mass is offered. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God, we ask you to answer these petitions according to your most holy will, that we might be conformed to your heart. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be, be God, God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Hear us, almighty God, and having instilled in your servants the teachings of the Christian faith, graciously purify them by the working of this sacrifice. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, and with your, your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We, we lift, lift them up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right, right and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts, that freed from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world, as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so, with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration that they may become the body and blood of, our, of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. From the night he was betrayed, 
he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world, be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and David, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you've summoned before you. And your compassionate, merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Our Father who, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy, thy name. Thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will, will be done, done on earth as, as it is in heaven. In heaven. Give, give us this day our daily, daily bread, and, and forgive, forgive us our trespasses, as we, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass, who trespass against us. And lead us, us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For, For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory, glory are yours, yours now, now and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace, Laura. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away the sins, sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter enter under my roof, roof, but but only say say the word, and my soul soul shall shall be healed. healed. Amen, amen, I say to you, unless a grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains a single grain. But if it dies, it bears much fruit. A prayer of spiritual communion for those unable to receive the Holy Eucharist at this time. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you have already come and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Amen. Let us pray. We pray, Almighty God, that we may always be counted among the members of Christ, in whose body and blood we have communion, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. spirit. Bow down for the blessing. Bless, O Lord, your people, who long for the gift of your mercy, and grant that what at your prompting they desire they may receive by your generous gift through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Saint Michael, the Archangel, the Archangel defend us in battle. Be our, be our protection, protection against, against wickedness, wickedness and snares, and snares of, the of the devil. May God, God rebuke, rebuke him, we humbly, we humbly pray. pray. And do, and do thou, thou, O Prince, Prince of the, of the heavenly, heavenly Host, by the, by the power, power of God, God cast into, into hell Satan, Satan and all the evil spirits, spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. souls. Amen. Amen. Amen.